A uh, quick video here for you Chris, um, trying to explain what you got to do here with your, your wiring for your accessory decoder, for your turnouts and your signals and your feedback module, um, how you wire it up. Uh, let me see if I can uh, show you a bit clearer here. Uh, okay. So if we start with the feedback module, the first output here, um, this wire is the feed from the IntelliBox track power outlet. Um, if you plug that into output three in the back of the IntelliBox, and then that come that wire from three comes to the, it says on here digital. To, SPG, so that's digital input. So that's the first output. Okay, that you so so that wire with all your feedback modules has to then loop to each of the other feedback modules because that gives a digital signal from the IntelliBox to the module. Okay, um, the low connect does the information transfer, but the actual track feed goes in here okay then all the outputs track output one to eight they all go to the why well, on mine I generally do it on the right rail um, the isolated rail so see this red wire here that goes to one and then if we look down here you see another one that goes to two and so on and so forth so that's the feedback module uh, we come to your accessory decoder I think you're getting yourself a bit confused here, but um, the first output that says plus 15 volts equals, that's your negative return for all your turnouts that are connected into this. So the black wire on all your Fleischmann point motors, that's the negative return goes to this one output. So if you put a bus wire underneath the whole layout, this could be your negative return for all your signalling, all your turnouts, everything. Okay. Uh, then, if you've got a, a turnout connected, output one would throw it one way, and then we can tell output two to throw it the other way. So the first, so the negative goes to the point motor, then the light brown and the dark brown, or if you've got the older point motors, the other two colours. Um, then three, four will be the next turnout, five, six will be the other turnout, and so on and so forth. So that is how you wire those up. In terms of your hold on, low connect connection, let's see if I can show you this. So that's the output out of the IntelliBox. That wire then comes into the first module. Whether it is a feedback module or any other low connect module can go into there and the second one out loops into the next unit then this one would loop into the next unit and so on and so forth for however many you've got linked up um, that's all there is to it there is you don't have to do anything else uh, I hope that's what you wanted to know um, I will do a little demonstration on how you program the feedback module and the accessory decoder module for Moodle and Block. Um